I've just discovered Windows X Lite, a project that promises to breathe life into your PC. We're going to be taking a look at it in this video. So what is Windows X Lite? Well, Windows X Lite is a series of custom operating systems for Windows 10 and 11, which are enhanced for security, privacy, and optimized for performance. It's made by a guy called FB Conan, who's been customizing Windows since the XP days. It's designed to work on all computers, whether that be high-end, low-end, or mid-range. We're gonna be testing its gaming performance, its overall usability, and seeing how it compares to a standard version of Windows 11, and whether you should switch to it. So, without further ado, let's hop onto their website and take a look at it. All right, guys, so here we are on the Windows Windows X Lite website. So I'll leave a link to this in the description down below. Make sure to go check it out. And it says Windows X Lite, breathing new life into your PC. So the version that we're going to be taking a look at is Windows X Lite Optimum 11 Pro, which is based on Windows 11 23H2. And then yeah, just scroll down. It tells you all of the features and stuff like this. And yeah, lots of screenshots and stuff, but you want to scroll all the way down and then you will find the download link, which is simply just a media file link. So you just go ahead and download it. One thing that I love is that there's no adverts or anything like that. It's just a straight download link. It takes you right to media fire. No adverts, no dodgy links, nothing like that. The only way that this project actually makes money is through donations. So if you want to go ahead and support the developer, then you can go ahead and buy them a coffee up here. And there's also adverts on this website as well. So if you do want to support the developer in that way, disable your ad blocker so they can get some nice ad revenue. But yeah, it's a really cool project. I'm really glad that I found this. So yeah, I will be back once it's downloaded. All right, guys. So now it's downloaded. It actually comes as a 7-zip file. So if you don't have 7-zip, I'm pretty sure you can just open it with the standard Windows Explorer. Here we go. And yeah, here's the folder. So we've got the ISO. And we've got Rufus included in this folder as well, which is pretty cool, as well as some other links and stuff as well. So we're just going to go ahead and extract the folder to our desktop real quick. And then what you want to do is you want to grab a USB stick. I'm sure you guys know how to install custom operating systems by now if you've watched my previous videos. But if you don't, I'll just go through it quickly. So yeah, you get a USB stick, plug it into your computer. And then part of this folder is they've actually included Rufus. So you just go ahead and double click on that. Press yes automatically detect your usb as you can see it's done here and then just go ahead and press select here where it says disk or iso navigate to the windows x Lite folder and press the iso image and there you go after that just press start make sure you back up whatever's on your usb because it's going to be completely erased to make this windows x Lite optimum 11 pro install usb and yeah just sit back relax let the usb create and then plug it into your computer all right guys so here we are windows x Lite is currently starting so as you can see here they've actually changed the installation background which is pretty cool all right so here we are so you've got two choices when you install optimum 11 pro you can either have it with windows defender off or windows defender on now you'll have much better performance without defender However, if you want to stay safe and secure, then it's probably worth having Windows Defender included. For this, I'm going to go with the default selection, which is Defender Off, which means that, yeah, I'm going to be very careful what I download because I don't have an antivirus. But yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Press Next. I really like this new installer, which looks pretty cool. In fact, in the newer versions of Windows 11, they're finally changing the look of this installer, which has been the same since like Windows 7, Windows Vista pretty crazy to be honest but yeah let's go ahead and get windows x optimum 11 light installed <laughs> and uh yeah let's see what it's like all right now that was really quick to install there was no installer nothing like that i literally just waited and boom we're in but we're instantly restarting for some reason a little bit weird logging back in yep here we are straight away straight in user account made completely all for us here we are on Optimum 11. Let's go. So first things first, we've got this really cool background. I'm not sure if this is included in Windows 11 as standard, but it looks really nice. So we've got our start menu, which isn't actually the standard Windows 11 start menu. I believe this is like start all back or open shell or something like that, or it could even be custom made. So we've got shortcuts to all of our stuff here, all of our applications that are installed on here. But yeah, there isn't a lot, honestly. There's accessibility. We've got some games included on here. as We've got Minesweeper, Solitaire, Spider Solitaire. Oh, all the old classics. That is really cool, actually. We've got some startup stuff, accessories, so like notepad, calculator, PowerShell, Windows system stuff. 
Windows tools, which look pretty standard to me apart from some of this stuff. And then we've got Xlight tools, which is pretty cool that they've included Win Aero Tweaker. If you want to check out my video on that, then I'll leave that on the top right to check out. And we've also got stuff like Search Everything as well, which can scan every single file and folder on your computer to find what you're looking for. And we've got some shortcuts to turn off Windows Firewall on and off, Print Spooler Service, and Windows Update as well. Just got the standard system tray here with nothing really much going on. Yeah, it's basically just a standard version of Windows 11 23 H2, except we've got this Start menu. This has changed here, this format. And we've got some stuff on the desktop. So we've got a games shortcut here. Wow. Look at that disk usage. Can you see that? Let's have a look. We're currently only using seven gigabytes on our install drive right now. What? That is really small. That's probably like one of the smallest operating system footprints I've ever seen. That is crazy. They've really done a lot to cut down all the unnecessary stuff in Windows. But they've still included stuff like these games, which they didn't really need to include, but it's still super cool to have. And then we've also got extras and info here. So this reminds me a little bit of like the old version of Atlas OS, GGOS. You've got some shortcuts and you've got stuff that you can install through here. But yeah, we've got some super cool icon packs. Everything's all custom, optimized, private, all out the box. It's lovely. It's really nice. We've got enable printing shortcuts for Xbox as well, if you want to do some Xbox games. We've got some guides here, which I think is just a shortcut. We don't actually have an internet browser installed as standard on here. So we're going to have to go ahead and install one of them. We can actually install the Microsoft Store through here or enable it basically by clicking here. And here we go. Yeah, so we've got some web browser installers. So you can choose from Chrome, Edge or Firefox. Or you can just go on the Microsoft Store, enable that and then get your web browser through there. You can enable widgets here as well. We've got WebView 2 installer setup package here. We've got some registry tweaks as well. So we can turn on and off the snap bar, snap layout. And we've actually got some wallpapers included. So if you don't like this standard one that it comes with, we've got this blue and pink one, this one from macOS Mojave. And we've got another one, which I do actually quite like. Yeah, I think I prefer this one. That one looks nice. And we've even got a modern take on the old Windows XP wallpaper. Now, one thing you guys might be interested in is the background processes. So let's go ahead and throw up the task manager here and let's have a look. We have got 59 processes running in the background on Windows Optimum 11 X Lite, whatever you want to call it. Wow, that is probably the lowest amount of processes I think I've ever seen on a custom version of Windows 11. I don't think Atlas OS has got that low or Rev iOS or anything like that that's installed via Playbooks. That is very low, to be honest with you. Uh, in terms of stuff we've got going on in the background, just Nvidia stuff, 41 Windows processes, but not too much. Let's have a look at our RAM usage here. Not too bad, 1.4 out of the 8 gigabytes used. Yeah, I think this would be a really good option on a low-end PC, honestly. It's really nice, really well made. It's set up completely out of the box, just as you'd want it and it's very good on performance. Oh, I like this. Look at this. So if your computer's frozen, you can just right click on the desktop, kill unresponsive tasks, and then it will just open up that. That is really cool. You can restart Explorer through here as well. You can restart into safe mode, view your system properties. Wow, they've actually made the right click context menu actually useful. So yeah, this Windows is not activated by default. So you are gonna have to buy a product key if you want to go ahead and activate this. So if we go to the settings of Windows Optimum 11, as you can see, it's a little bit different than the standard version of Windows 11. So we don't have a home section. However, if you do want that, they do give you the option of enabling that by going on their website. But yeah, it's mostly just the standard system settings really here. If we go into Windows Update, as you can see here, our updates are actually paused until the year 3000. But if you do want to resume updates for whatever reason, you can go ahead and just press that here. But if you want to go ahead and pause the update, again then you can just go ahead and go to this option here and you can actually scroll all the way down and you <laughs> look how far this is and you can actually postpone updates for 520 weeks but how does it gain so it's time to benchmark this so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be running minecraft 1.8.9 completely vanilla no mods all the settings will be exactly the same 
So as you can see on your screen here, I'm just loading up Minecraft on Windows 11 standard version. So this is an unoptimized version of Windows 11. It's got all of the bloatware, it's got all of the background processes and all the unnecessary apps that we don't like. But yeah, let's see how this is like for performance. So what I'm going to be doing for this is I'm going to be using the exact same worlds on both Windows 11 and Optimum 11. And I'm going to be running around in the exact same manner as you're seeing on your screen right now. So yeah, this is just a 1.8.9 creative world. I do a bit of walking, a bit of running and some flying around just so you can get an idea of exactly what kind of chunks I've got to load in. And yeah, I'm just trying to keep this test as fair as possible. I'm using Cap Frame X to capture these benchmark recordings. And yeah, it's pretty boring really. I did this twice just to make sure I didn't get any kind of fluked results. And yeah, this is basically what you're seeing me in a time lapse right now doing. It's quite boring, but a lot of you guys like to see benchmarks on here and it's far better than me just throwing up my FPS on screen so it's time for the all important benchmark so how did the standard version of windows 11 do well as you can see here we've got a maximum fps of 546 which is not too bad but don't look at the maximum fps that is literally the fps that it got to maybe one millisecond the average fps is what we want to be looking at so we've got 335.8 fps average on standard windows 11 which is pretty good bear in mind i've got my gtx 1060 in this pc so it's going to be around that anyway but i'm going to be doing some more low-end pc stuff very soon and then we've got the 0.2 percentile fps at 61.4 and the 0.1 percentile FPS at 50.7. So this is just like the lowest FPS that it got at any given second. So yeah, they're not really too important. The average is the main one that we're gonna be looking at. All right, so how does this compare to Optimum 11? Well, I'll throw up the results on screen right now. And as you can see straight away, we've got a higher max FPS at 596 compared to 546 on Windows 11. But like I said, that's kind of irrelevant. Let's not look at that. The average is 392.5 on Optimum 11, which compared to standard Windows 11 was only 330. So yeah, a little bit more of a difference. Not as much as I was hoping to be honest with you, but still a difference nonetheless. As you can see, compared to standard Windows 11, they are actually higher. So when our FPS does dip, even if it's just slight for a slight millisecond, it is higher on average compared to the standard Windows 11 install. So yeah, there we have it. Optimum 11 is better for gaming compared to standard Windows 11. That combined with all the tweaks, all the customization and all the good stuff out the box, I think Optimum's pretty cool. So yeah, very interesting results there in the Minecraft benchmark. So final words on Windows Optimum 11 by Windows X Lite. I think it's a really cool operating system. It's, it's got a real nice theme to it with custom icons and stuff. And also since I switched back to Windows 11 for the benchmark, I've noticed that the font is actually different on Optimum 11 compared to the standard font on Windows 11, which is pretty cool. I don't think I've seen that before. And also there's just a consistent dark mode throughout here as well. So no theming or anything like that required. It's all built in. So for example, the control panel here is all in dark mode way more consistent than the standard windows 11 dark modes let me know if you want to see some benchmarks on other games because i can definitely do that on this computer and also in the future i am going to be getting myself a very old laptop which i'm going to be doing some videos on so make sure you guys look out for that anyway that's going to be the video i hope you guys all enjoyed it and if you want to check out my last video where i checked out a windows tweaker and optimizer then click here and i'll see you guys there